On July the 4th, 2020, residents formed a special roadblock in Sonoida, a border city in Mexico. They used their cars to block intersections as a way of preventing American tourists from entering the country. Sonoida is close to the U.S. state of Arizona. At that time, the COVID-19 infection rate in Arizona was rising sharply. The mayor of Sonoida issued a statement asking American tourists not to visit Mexico unless with important business. However, the statement didn't stop the influx of American tourists. In August 2020, the number of confirmed cases in the United States had exceeded 4.8 million. The U.S. government lifted a Level 4 travel advisory that has since March instructed citizens to avoid all international travel amid COVID-19 pandemic, which gave rise to a growing number of Americans traveling abroad. From April 2020 to March 2021, as planes took off and cruise ships as sail, more than 20 million Americans traveled abroad and affected travelers became walking vectors of contagion. Ironically, the U.S. government, while lifting restrictions on American travelers, has used epidemic prevention and control as an excuse to detain and drive out illegal immigrants. Eutanis was detained at the Cataola Correctional Center. In just one month, 60 detainees in the center tested positive for COVID-19. Nevertheless, U.S. immigration authorities failed to take any quarantine measures or provide enough coronavirus tests for detainees. Detention centers became hotbed for the novel coronavirus. The U.S. has adhered to the principle of America first at the expense of the lives and health of people in other countries. In July 2020, the coronavirus epidemic broke out in Da Nang and surrounding provinces in Vietnam. It was speculated that the virus was brought to the country by the USS Theodore Roosevelt, which had docked in Da Nang not long ago. Right now, Puerto Nakano, live from Naval Base Coronado. In addition, the US troops stationed in Japan and South Korea have often lacked discipline and have frequently engaged in behaviors disregarding local epidemic prevention regulations. Even some U.S. politicians were spreading the virus. In March 2020, Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro led a delegation to visit the United States, after which many members in the delegation tested positive for COVID-19. In October 2020, the then U.S. President Donald Trump and his wife were infected with a novel coronavirus. Just imagine how weak the U.S. epidemic response was, that even the White House was overwhelmed by the virus. It will be totally It's not built to shut down. I never imagined. I think it should be the media. The U.S. has not only exported COVID-19, but also continued down the path of exporting political virus. It comes from China. The U.S. government even ordered intelligence agencies to fabricate a report on the origins of COVID-19 with the obvious intention of shirking responsibility and shifting blame to China. Infected travelers flying all over the world, forced deportations of infected immigrants, super spreader U.S. joint military exercises, U.S. troops stationed abroad, undermining epidemic prevention regulations, and U.S. politicians who spread the virus at large. The country, once known as the beacon of civilization, has deteriorated into a super spreader. 
that harms global interests.